Hello, everybody. This might be the first time you hear my voice, I'm sure, but I dabbled. So I've been dabbling. I am a bullet journaler, or was, for a very, very long time. And in my YouTube travels, the algorithms were working, and I stumbled across the Hobonichi, um, which actually just struck a memory because I had seen Hobonichi before and heard the crinkle of the pages as you turn them after they have been written upon. And I just love that sound of paper. <laughs> I love I love that feeling of paper. My favorite paper to ever write on is that tissuey yellow paper with the blue lines that you used to practice writing on in elementary school. I'm in my mid-40s for anybody who needs to follow along with that. And you usually used pencil with that paper, but when I discovered a Bic ballpoint blue ink on that yellow tissuey paper, I think it was probably my first love affair. <laughs> I just love it so much. So I splurged and I got a Hobonichi Te Teco Cousin. I also got an original and I'll not be showing that today, but I'm going to show you my January and how I've been using my Hobonichi. My cover is uh, one of the Midori covers, I believe. It feels a little small. It, it pops up you know, at the at the bottom there. It's fine. I just, every night I put a bunch of books on top of it and hope that it just flattens out. It's not flattening out, but I don't want to change it right now. So it is what it is. Uh, stickers. I did not know that Shine has stickers. My massage therapist gave me this one and this came with a yoga pack that um, is available on Amazon. Just a yoga pack of stickers. I think there are a hundred or 500 stickers. God, 500 would be a lot. I think it's just a hundred. So let's see here. I have an old scrapbook thing in here. I never use it. Never use it. Uh, more stickers from a vintage sticker set that um, I got from Amazon. I don't use this page. I use this for just my regular appointments and tracking. If I don't have an appointment, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm getting over being sick. I will usually write just some big event for that day. So here's here comes the meat and the bones after I show you my monthly for January. I was not a sticker person, but something about the Hobonichi, man, it makes me want to use stickers. <clears throat> Sorry, I'll try not to do that too often. I love just putting stickers around everywhere. It's such a blast. Um, I don't know. It feels fun. I like that it adds stuff without me having to doodle it myself. Um, my doodling is not great, as you see here from my chiropractic appointment. That's supposed to be a spine. But I do love doodling, and that's going to come up a little bit more later. Um, I found journals from 1990 where I'm like trying to doodle and mess around with things. So here's my January month. I use it just for appointments, etc. Sometimes I'll put goal over here. Now, the, the biggest uh, thrill where I get that I get from the Hobonichi is the weekly spreads. So this is week one. I kind of knew right away I was not going to use this for actual planning. Instead, I use it as this is what I did this day. It's a log, you know, like I imagine frontier women or, or I don't know, somebody just keeping a, a journal of all of the things they did that day, a diary, but not something that explored your your mental state or your emotions or, you know, your relationships for that day, but more, I milked the cows at 4.30, you know, and that I had lunch with my mother and, you know, stuff like that. So I'm tracking my days and just what I did that day, um, books that I'm reading. I really this year wanted to repeat what I did last year, mostly is read more books. I wanted to write more. That's going to come up again. I had stopped my daily writing practice and I just, I've just became so busy. I have a band. Um, I, I have a lot of friends. I love my friends. I love going out. I, it's impossible for me to say no when everybody's getting together, but I need to take time to also write. I wanted to get back to my knitting and I wanted to just get more into the creative me. So the first doodle that we have of the year is my little television. My son and I bond a lot with TV um, and the evenings after all of our day stuff. And I love the color. I love filling up every inch of space. So this is week one. This is from a winter sticker pack. This is well from just Michael's, just picked it up at Michael's. This is another sticker pack from Michael's. And this is a flower sticker pack, all from Michael's because I like just give me the easy stuff first. So uh, that's week one. Week two, this is again from that vintage sticker set from Amazon. 
This is from a, um, I guess they're called PET stickers, really thin plastic stickers. I love them. They don't seem to take up any space at all. Um, and just playing around more with the doodling stuff. I do Duolingo as often as I can. Um, and I have my guitar lessons. I got my therapy. So much stuff. So much stuff. And, you know, I'll, I'll put in some personal things every now and then. Um, but I'm kind of an open book when it comes to things in general. This is the first sticker set I bought off Etsy. It was just little yoga stickers. I have been having hip problems since August and um, found that yoga is probably going to be the thing that helps. And I had a pretty terrible last six months um, mentally. I was going through some stuff that I could not define or figure out. So meditation is also on my list. So for tracking trying to meditate and uh, do yoga to help with all those things. And then I keep a little monthly to do down here so that I can keep them in sight and, and not forget. And this was for my partner's 50th birthday. This was a stressful week trying to plan a surprise party without him knowing, but then also not disappointing him by letting him know you're throwing him a party. <laughs> it, was, it was complicated, but we did it and we had a fabulous time. It was It was really killer. And then I discovered my son's old watercolor set. Um, I'm a little disappointed in how dark it was, but now I think it's kind of cool. Um, blended a little bit over here. Found some more stickers. These were from Shine. Uh, I never knew you could do that, but it's, it's pretty awesome to find stickers on Shine. So I'm excited. I love the book series stickers I got from Shine. These were also from Shine. Uh, some things I just cut out instead of using the whole thing, just so they can fit that yoga pack. Coffee stickers from Shine. Had a great time writing on some washi tape, just filling the spaces, you know, and I'll go back later and just try to fill it in. I want to do so much, so I'm glad that I have the original as well, because once I start doodling stuff, I want to keep going, but you can only get so far with this because it's full. <laughs> so I would go over to the other one. So this is the middle of January. This is the week I got COVID. Uh, you can see here my first day positive with COVID. And I also got the Rytec gel pens. Um, this was recommended on a YouTube channel. Maybe it was just an advertisement. But I love the colors. It comes out so cool. This color is here. And I, I kind of like how it all ended up looking with the yoga. So I like that I can change things up here. I was just being sick. And this is where things started changing for me. Um, you'll see in the dailies. I... I use my dailies for writing prompts because I wanted to do some daily writing. But then when I got COVID, I just I just did not want to do writing. But I did want to start doodling and I did want to start um, being a little more creative, you know, with with things. I always have enjoyed doodling. I like drawing. As you could see from my Sure by Dabbles, you go back and you'll see the comics that I did, my daily sketch a day Uh thing. I wanted to keep it up for a year. It only lasted 90 days, but it's a nice even number 90 days. So I did that. And I like going back to it. And the YouTube algorithms are working when I'm sick. I really like watching YouTube. So I was watching more journal stuff. And then suddenly I got to art journal uh, sketchbook tours. And man, the things that people can do, it just is amazing. And this paper is perfect for me to start messing around with that. I also uh, started knitting again. Something about having COVID, it really forces you when you, you don't want to get your friends sick. You have to be well. And I just got to stay home and do my things. Like I really got to pull out that that creative sherby and, and rock with it. And it was a ton of fun. Just my introverted self getting all bad with me. It was great. And I watched a ton of movies. I really miss my movie days. Um, I don't watch as much TV as I used to. And I was such a big film nerd. So it's pretty cool. So we're almost to the end of January. And then I'll go over to what my dailies are like. So this was the last week of um, January on this page. Over here, I had to work the whole time I had COVID. I even had to work on Sunday, like over here. So it's like work on Sunday with COVID is worse than working on Monday. That was that was awful. And it turns out that the work that I did didn't have as much of a um, an impact as I was hoping. But that's okay. You you learn, you keep going. And I also, if you see over here, was starting to track reading, yoga, and meditating. And then, of course, when I got sick, it was just it was <laughs> it wasn't happening. Um, I really miss reading a lot too. There is something to be said for being forced to stay at home 
I signed up for Domestica. I think it's going to be pretty cool. I got some gouache that I wanted to start playing with. So this is kind of giving you a little sneak peek into what the dailies are going to be coming up with. So when we go ahead to the dailies, <clears throat> oh, first there's this in-between page, this turning page to a new year. I thought I would try to track some different things that are not in my regular tracker book. I have a Leuchterm A6 that has all my vitamins, all of the things I try to do daily that I track. And I, I use that pretty consistently. And then I thought about trying stuff here, but then I got COVID and lost and lost the mojo. So that wasn't happening. And then some other ideas. We'll see how it transforms. My first page for January, this is, like I said before, I'll go into doing something and I really just want to keep going in the planner. I want to keep writing stuff. I want to keep feeling this paper. I want to keep moving my hands. And uh, this is a page to do that when I'm done with everything else and I just want to doodle. I'll just doodle stuff in here and just add to it as the month goes on. Slap some stickers in there, etc. Write down some things people have said. Maybe some things that are... Um, New to me, like discovered migraine medicine works. Um, I didn't realize <laughs> I was too afraid to take the migraine medicine. And last week when I had COVID, it was just so bad. I had a breakdown. I was crying. I called a good friend of mine who has a history of migraines. And I said, please help me. I have this medicine. I'm scared to take it. I have a lot of stuff I have to do at work. And I am a medicine I had taken years before. It just incapacitated me for the day like which is worse working through a migraine or being incapacitated from the medicine but the medicine worked and thank god it worked i was um i had to use it three days in a row it was just terrible covid related who knows i have a chronic illness now too that exacerbates covid and covid exacerbates it blah 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 so um I didn't start right away with writing prompts, but I did just want to use the day. I was busy that day. I couldn't sit down and really do it, so I did something else. I used a bunch of the stickers. I'm telling you, stickers are fun. I added these dots later when I just wanted to do more in the book, and I had already done what I could do, so I came back and looked at my other pages and just added dots. I really love filled up things. This is where I started doing the writing prompts. I wasn't sure if I was going to use this column with the darker line or not, so I just played and I was timing them. I wanted to see how long it would take. Consistently, it's about 13 minutes, um, sometimes 12, to fill up a page. And these are prompts I got from squibbler.io, S-Q-I-B-L-E-R.io. Eventually, they repeat themselves. So I started looking at first line word generators or first line generators. Um, they all repeat, really. More doodling is starting down here. Um, I really like doing the writing prompts. They inspire me to write stories. And every now and then, excuse me, a new story is going to come out. And um, I just have to, of course, find the time to sit and work with that story. I think it'd be a really cool exercise to type all these up and have a chapbook of just these little mini vignettes, you know, based on writing prompts. I always thought that that was cool. This is another one of those really thin I think they're called pet stickers, P-E-T stickers. Not quite sure. These doodles sort of go with the story that's in there. Um, here's a day where our friends were hanging out. I didn't want to leave them even for 13 minutes. And so I just brought my son's watercolor set into the room with me and just tried to practice some stuff. A girlfriend of mine had started watercoloring flowers in a... Um, a6 original Hobonichi I got her for Christmas. We were talking one day about journaling and wanted to get back into stuff. And I was just inspired right there to buy her one for Christmas. And now she uses it every day and she watercolors flowers in hers. And when I found his set, I wanted to try to do that too. I apologize. I'm talking so fast. I just, <laughs> I just want to uh, flip through this and, and show it to you. More writing prompts. Um, again, really fun. Go in different directions. I really think it frees up the mind to try things out. Use these pages however you want. And listen, that crinkle, right? Oh, I just I just love that crinkle. I really just love it. Um, somebody on one of the groups on Facebook said, can I steal your idea for highlighting the dates? And it's like, you do whatever you want, man. It's a blast. Like just anything to bring out that creativity. I just love it so much. So um, obviously here, I'm. this is how I typically would write in my other journals when I did daily writing practice. It would just be so fast you can't read it. Very Writing Down the Bones by Natalie Goldberg stuff, which got me into writing in the first place when I was about 13. 
And then uh, this is the day of my partner's birthday. He was so surprised. It was it was so difficult. I had such a stressful week doing that. Uh, he got a, a two set, or four set actually record from one of our friends, a musical genius. It was fabulous. What a great gift. The surprise party went great. He's 50 years old. We played a gig um, for his birthday. First we had the dinner and then two days later we played a gig and I invited every single friend he had and we got to sing happy birthday to him. He got to perform in front of his friends with help, which helped him relax a bit with his friends around. Totally fun. Um, this is another writing prompt. There was something not quite right about the window. This was a cool one. This was a cool writing prompt. She was carried along by the crowd and then I got a second prompt and added it to the end. He opened the door to find her standing there crying and I put them together. I like this story. This was a fun one to put together. Uh, these are cool. This was from Shine. It has some words or different pictures that I would just cut out. Another writing prompt. Another writing prompt. We're getting closer to when I was sick. This was cool. Added some tried to do some more watercolor in the back. I'd really like to get good at that sort of stuff. I have a lot of fun with lettering. This one took longer. I think I just took my time. Also, you can see it's not in quite the same cursive, so it took me a little longer to do. Still timing. Still trying to time it. It's gonna, that's gonna get lost soon. Um, here was just, I was doing yoga one day. This is not, um, I love this. I try to do that a lot. It doesn't work out all the time. <laughs> I'm trying to really get to yoga. My body has not been my body uh, for a while. And I was recognizing while doing Sarah Beth yoga routines. She's fabulous if you find her YouTube channel. Really, really good yoga instruction. Just really open to all of the contingents of people from the inflexible to the older to the tired. Um, and doing one of her videos she makes you stay in this position for such a long time. And I just recognized I was holding everything so tight. I just kept, I was, I was like in this vice grip. And the longer I was in it, the more I tried to feel a muscle relax. And there was something almost scary about it. Like, like your body is, is tense in a, this protective thing. I'm learning a lot about my physical um, repercussions of trauma and when you finally start to let it go, it truly is a an emotional an emotional thing. Um, so learning all of that has been fascinating, and um, and also I love it. It makes me feel like I'm growing. Again, a friend was over. I wanted to do stuff in here, so I um, started to just do doodles. This is doodling that I've been doing for years, and um, it was snowing this day, which was pretty cool. I love snow. Um, they occur, they go, half are fast, most are slow, crunching, munching, sluicing, slicing, snow, <laughs> go. Laughing is easy, let the song be, they know it, words come like so, get over yourself. Get over yourself is actually pretty cool, my therapist said that to me. Well, she didn't say it to me, she said it as somebody saying it to her. And, you know, it's actually quite helpful when my brain gets too, too much. It was just for one night, another writing prompt. I am not good at this. This is my friend Sherry. She's beautiful and hanging out. And I went and tried to do this and it was, it was not working. You, know, you can just, just to get it in all it's not well glory. Um, she looks like she's about to bunny hop when she was in fact sitting down being cozy. Yeah. Uh, this actually might have been the same night that, uh, that this happened because um, I was getting behind. And so I just did a couple things at the same time. So now we're getting into, um, these are the writing prompts for these days. I really, really like doing the writing prompts. I do. It's, I get to write. I don't get stuck in my head. And, and it's, it just makes me feel like I'm tapping into my creativity for a day. I've got some washi tape, vintage collection from Amazon. Um, and then I'm getting, and then I'm getting sick. So I got sick. Um, I was feeling sick Tuesday night. And then this day, um, I just, I couldn't do anything. I tested positive for COVID the day after, but I was definitely not feeling well on this day. Random doodling. I got those Rytec pens, um, positive for COVID. I did do a writing prompt on the 25th, but then I woke up at 4.30. I could not, actually I woke up at like four and I couldn't go to sleep. And I kept remembering that thing in your head. If you're up for longer than 20 minutes, get out of bed, just get out of bed and go downstairs. And I was hungry. 
And I haven't made myself a peanut butter, sandwich, peanut butter sandwich in the middle of the night for at least four years. I lived by myself for a long time, and that was like my 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 thing that I did when I would realize I didn't eat enough. I have to go downstairs. I have this great mug that says you're doing great. And this is where things start taking a turn where I'm like, this feels good to do. You know, it just feels good to to mess around with stuff. And being sick, you know how you're a little more vulnerable to feelings. Um, I feel a little like Elise Myers right now, but it's true. I, I, you feel more vulnerable in these moments. And those are good moments. When you're sick, I feel like you're really knowing yourself. You know, like I had less patience for when um, my partner said something that I, that wasn't cool with me, you know, and instead of having this real grown up communication way of speaking, I would just be like, hey, that's not okay. You know, and it's funny, but sometimes I wonder if we should practice those sorts of things even more. So um, I stayed up till 510. I drew my peanut butter sandwich. I also drew it a little bit later again um, when I took a bite out of it. And I swatched later um, the colored pencils I've had. I've had these colored pencils for years. There are some um, Prismacolor Premier colored pencils that I don't use very often. The next day, sitting on the couch, watching a movie, feeling sick, watching some YouTube art journal tours. I just did some rando stuff and it was fun. It's like, I'm just playing with my colors and checking stuff out and filling in some gaps. And it was a good time. Did the same here. And then um, tried some watercolor, more color pencil stuff. I wanted to try to actually draw things. This was just, a, I just took paint and, and then I saw a dog in it. So I drew a dog um, in overalls. I love my overalls. And this was another splotchy thing. And I was like, what could that splotch be? And so I drew this figure. This is just messing with colors. I want to learn how to do this stuff. The paper and the paints themselves probably don't warrant, like, they're probably not good for practicing stuff, but it's like a $14 watercolor set I got my son years ago, and I have it, so I'll use it. And then I tried gouache. Never had gouache before. Never even tried it. So this is supposed to be me sick during COVID with some tissues and hanging out with a book. Um, it's complicated. I, I'm terrible at perspective, so I figure just do it head on. Can't really go wrong. And I figure maybe a daily challenge would be trying to do a self-portrait every day. Like, try to get better at at least one thing, you know. And this is a grateful post. It's the last day of January, of remembering January. And it was finding a Hobonichi, randomly being inspired to buy one. I was at a dueling piano show for three hours, but mostly looking at my phone, watching various YouTube videos, because I couldn't decide if I wanted the original A6 or if I wanted the cousin. And then finally a friend came up and said, why are you not getting the, the big one? And I said, because it's expensive. And she said, just get it. You know you want it. You're just going to be disappointed otherwise. So I got it. And then like three days later, I ordered the original too, because it's true. Like I want it. I'm going to use it. And I am using it. Um, and... That led to more YouTube algorithm stuff, just serendipity and kismet coming together to unlock and bring back a Kristen I've missed and forgotten. And it's true, like getting all that creative stuff in there has, is awesome. So that's the end of the month. February, I started here. I just got some random stickers there to do my to do my my stuff. So other pages that I have used in the back is really just putting a budgeting thing. I put bills, how much I have to pay. I check it off when I've paid it. And then I um, cross it off when it's come out of my bank account. I did get a supplement notebook. Um, it's good for just, you know, quotes out of certain books, um, taking notes on things. I want to take notes, overfill. Um, I figure some days there might be writing prompts that I want to continue on with. Uh, this is where I'm doing, going to do my 365. I literally have not done anything since I got... COVID on these days except some meditation before sleep but um, I'm tracking yoga and meditation here and my yoga is bare minimum if I do one sun salutation it counts um, meditation if I do two minutes of finding mindfulness it counts and I really want to keep this going for the year uh, these other pages to watch with Phil oh yeah I think this is like my I'm using this as a things I want to watch we have this scrap of paper that's been on our kitchen counter with like 40 different movies crossed out and written. We cross them out when we see them. I'm going to use this in a similar way. 
If I had a week off, I would read, knit, watch TV, lay in the carpet, listen to music, feel relaxed, let my body do what it feels like, and let go of shoulds. And I did that with COVID. Absolutely. Every single thing in there, I did it with COVID. And you got to be thankful for that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know if I'll use any of this. Movies and books. That's what I'm using my 100 for. Uh, and um, so like all the things I'm telling you, COVID, man, I, f I freaking loved it. I only watched one thing that was over two hours long. My goal was to maximize my movie time. So I picked things that were an hour and a half. Everything in between was YouTube and just chilling out. Uh, some of these, I need them to be mindless and not too serious or else I... Um, it, it feels exhausting to me to invest my emotions into some movies, so I didn't do it. Um, it's just something I've learned over time. I don't think I use any of these other pages. Oh, every now and then I might put some little doodle in these boxes. And then this didn't have very many extra pages, so just that financial page. And that's it. So I have thoroughly enjoyed the Hobonichi. I hope you see something here that um, inspired you. If you're interested in seeing um, my original let me know. I know that people who have subscribed to my channel already are not here for this, um, but maybe there's some overlap. And also, um, if you want to see February, just let me know. I, I want to see if this is something that could be fun to do. I'd love to show my other notebooks that I got, my, my progression into doing more artistic things. This is called Dabbles for a reason, because I do dabble into in a lot of different shit. And, um, and I want to keep doing that. So, <laughs> so if there's any interest and if there's anybody out there who's like me and wants to, wants to jam with it with me, let me know. I think it could be a good time. Plus it's just fun to do. Um, but I do not want the knowledge that I may be sharing it to change how I do it. So that is just going to be how I roll with this. I don't like feeling observed, um, because I do think it changes you. Uh, there's this parable by Kafka about an actor and his first night on stage, he's he's just absolutely incredible, and and the reviews are raving like like he it's like he was born for this, and you forget that he's acting, and the actor read those reviews, and the next day he acts with that knowledge, and it's terrible. He's not nearly as good, and I try to keep that in mind whenever I do something that ends up being observed. Anyways, I could ramble on for ages and ages. So thanks for coming here. Oh, let me just show you the back. <laughs> he did a uh, an episode on the post office and um then he sold his own stamps and I bought a bunch of them they're not forever stamps which is unfortunate but I bought a bunch of them and he had this picture of himself on John Oliver on, on the uh, back or on the sheet of stickers I cut it out and put it there and I I actually kind of love it all right that's what I got for you right now peace out home skillets I hope someone out there saw this and liked it Bye.